Hey you, welcome back again. It just seems like VR news lately is very exciting and very fun. And the PSVR 2 has officially now been revealed, at least what it looks like. We still don't have a date or price. Uh, but with that reveal, I saw two things, two common things that I saw among a lot of my friends and people that I follow or, or listen to. And uh, two things that put the PSVR 2 announcement down, which I actually think are really big, interesting value adds or possible value adds, things that need to be discussed. And I'd like to take a little bit of your time, just a few minutes, to go over why these are actually good things, uh, right? Because there's things to be super positive about. PSVR 2 is amazing, but uh, PSVR 2 did get leaked, uh, uh, or not leaked, did get revealed uh, what it looks like. And we have a very nice, sleek looking white design. It's very reminiscent of uh, MetaQuest 2. But, uh, you know, white just seems to be the color of uh, tech value these days. I, I mean, I'm digging it. I have no problems with this look. Uh, you have your Halo strap. And, of course, we have a lot of uh, specs that we already knew. It's a near 4K resolution screen, OLED, 90 and 120 refresh rate. You have your larger field of view. I think they're estimated somewhere around 110 degrees is what I've been seeing. Uh, eye tracking, foveated rendering, head haptics. It, it's, a, it's a really interesting headset on paper. Um... You know, I mean, if you can get your hands on a PS5, I think that's really the kicker here, but I'm really excited about it. But, of course, uh, there's something I haven't said yet, and let's talk about wires and the wire shaming fun that goes on any time that you see a wire on a headset, and why for this specific case, hear me out, wire might be better. Now, the way the wire was presented, it is kind of towards the back and pointing down, which tells me that they may want the wire to go over your shoulder. It does seem that's the way it's positioned. Uh, with the wire going over the shoulder toward the back, it might signify, if we're putting on our tinfoil beanies, um, it might signify that they are still intending a lot of their games to be frontward facing and or uh, stationary to a degree. Because if you're going to be having a wire that goes across the back and you're going to be spinning a lot, uh, that leaves a lot to be desired for cord management. In addition, it does look like the cord goes directly into the strap, which makes me question, is it replaceable? Uh, if you're like me, uh, my valve index is held together by duct tape and Gorilla Tape right now, and the wire is frayed enough that if it's in the wrong position, my audio cuts out and I do get artifacts on screen. So it's entirely time to replace my index wire, which is doable because they're selling it separately, I believe. I know what they're selling it separately. I just don't know if it's in stock, but it is out there, right? Um, so that's that. But here's the thing with wires. And first of all, it's connected to a wired PS5. Consoles have traditionally been centerpieces in rooms. So if you have a PS5, it is generally visible in the gaming room or wherever you game. It is not a mobile unit. Therefore, a wired on a PSVR 2 kind of makes sense. The wire does tell me if it is hard put into the headset that wireless adapters probably unlikely. But either way, PS5, by the way it's always played, is, is a centerpiece. And I think that's actually a good thing for VR. I've always been a little dismayed that the Oculus Quest 2... Mm, I, almost, I almost got it right in the video. The MetaQuest 2. Uh, I've always been a little bummed out that it didn't come with a stand. Um, nothing crazy. Just some type of charging stand that put it on and hook a wire into that you put in a central place in your house that's visible. Because it should be a talking piece. It should be a centerpiece, right? My MetaQuest 2 stays inside a drawer. It stays inside a drawer that I pull out when I decide to play it, um, but that doesn't do me any good if I have people over or I'm showing my, my, my place out, basically. It doesn't set a conversation up. However, it had originally come with some type of, of, of stand. I would have put that in a central location. That would have been the charging, and it's a centerpiece. It's a discussion piece, and that helps VR and helps everybody out. And I think that might happen more with the PSVR 2, especially if they treat it like a console and give it maybe a type of stand. But because it's always wired into your centerpiece, into your PS5, if you have one that's in your, your room, it's a centerpiece, I'm going to keep using that word, maybe the wire shows off, makes you show off the PSVR 2 more, and that might be a benefit. Now, a lot of you are going to be like, Eric, stop trying to make wires happen. I hear you. But, um... No wire shaming here today. I'm just, just, uh, I think it works. I just think a wire for a console, I don't know. It just makes sense. The other thing I've been seeing a lot is where are the games? You know, it, where's the library of games? And I will agree that it's very silent. We know that there's like that Horizon trailer demo thing that got sent out. Uh, that's about all we know. Um, and I do have anecdotes from developers who say sometimes 
Sony is not the best uh, working with them to promote their products or get into their store. I don't know what's true. I don't know what's not. I'm not going to speculate. But what I will say is uh, PSVR 2 hardware is, is pretty nice so far. What we know, it's it's looking really good. Um, PSVR games are aging, and uh, I don't see them releasing a hardware product like the PSVR 2 without a catalog of something interesting to make you make that plunge. Um, they're probably holding out for a better time to announce that that stuff. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll eat a sock or I'll eat something if PSVR 2 launches with no catalog of anything interesting or exciting. Uh, to me, just this is a waiting game. It's a patience game. Uh, notoriously, I have been uh, fairly void of PSVR coverage on this channel. I've been a little bit of a naysayer. I just think the tech is very outdated and didn't get the do it should have. And to me, it looks like Sony is making the right decisions here. It's, it's made the right tech decisions. It's made the right hardware decisions. And I'm fully expecting the game decisions to follow suit. So, you know, call me an optimist here. Call me uh, whatever. I'm just very excited. Um, and that's the video. Really nothing else. But what are your thoughts? After seeing the PSVR 2, the pictures and, and the cord, what are your thoughts on that? Do you think the cord's a value add, neutral, or just a complete disservice and travesty to all that is VR? And then with gaming, do you think any games are going to be announced very soon? Is it coming at GDC? Is that the next announcement? I don't know, guys, but I'm rambling. That's it for today's video. See you next time, Space Cowboys. Peace.